Hi guys, Adult Services Librarian Grace here. I am back for our weekly Wednesday book talk with a couple of titles from our nonfiction collection that I think you'll enjoy. The first title is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Um, you're probably familiar with Trevor Noah, host of The Daily Show, stand-up comedian, um, super funny guy. The book is not so fun. I mean, it's humorous. It's Trevor Noah. Um, but it's really about his childhood, his upbringing in South Africa, and there's a lot of deep stuff going on. Um, the title Born a Crime refers to the fact that he is a mixed race person living in South Africa and to exist was illegal because uh, black people and white people were not allowed to um, have relationships like that. So it, it starts off on a really heavy note, but again, he sort of brings this lightness to it. It's really well written. It feels like it's written in his voice. That's always something that I appreciate in a memoir when it really feels like you're reading someone's story being told to you by them. Um, as opposed to, you know, maybe a ghostwriter or the editor having some influence. Um, this is his book. You can tell the entire way through. Doesn't really focus too much on his, um, you know, his comedic years. It's really about his, um, his childhood and then his early uh, adult life. Um, sort of as he's starting to become uh, somebody that, that's more famous. But it's really about, you know, who he is as a person as opposed to who he is as a, as a celebrity. So um, this was a really great book. It's been on my list for a long time and I finally got around to it. And uh, five stars. Fantastic. Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. The second book that I have is a little bit different. I have a cookbook. Um, it's called 100 Cookies by Sarah Kiefer, and it's a great cookbook, and that's why I'm talking about it. Obviously, it's not one that you're going to just kind of sit down and read, but um, she does have some nice, um, you know, kind of features in the beginning, kind of describing some of the processes that she'll discuss um, in different recipes and sort of explains how to, um, you know, choose the best ingredients, uh, depending on what you're trying to make um, or the right equipment. And then in the back, she has some additional recipes to support the cookie recipes, things that um, go really well with some of the cookies that she has. Uh, and what I really like is that she has so many different kinds of um, cookies. She has, you know, bars, uh, things you can make in a pan, in addition to your more Kind of elevated fancy cookies um, but they're all really accessible um, you know really easy recipes despite the fact that they have um, some less traditional maybe ingredients in some cases uh, I have made several things out of this book including my favorite was a cinnamon roll blondie bars they were really easy they were perfect they were so so good um, and you know with one pan I had a dozen two dozen cookies so 100 Cookies by Sarah Kiefer, if you're looking for something to keep you busy in the kitchen, I highly recommend making some of these 100 cookie recipes. All right, uh, we'll be back next week with a couple more titles that we think you'll enjoy. In the meantime, give us a call if you're looking for a specific recommendation for you. Um, stop into the library, we're open seven days a week. And uh, starting in July, we are gonna have a holds pickup available in the building as well as outside. So um, if you have any questions about that, let us know.